All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory to my Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. It's the brother Malak, back with another lesson in all truth and sincerity. Okay, and this lesson is just going to be in the spirit, you know, got a couple precepts. That we're gonna go into and Lord will I'm able to edify okay so just in these times you know it's important to understand the time we in all right it's important to understand why the Lord has given us this grace and um, how to use that and take into our advantage you see now this is a uh, Proverbs 22 and 3 it says a prudent man foreseeth the evil right so we're supposed to foresee the evil if we are we, to call ourselves being prudent all right matter of fact let's get that word prudent Right, this is uh, that word prudent in the etymology online. It says wise, discerning, judicious. Okay, now us being judges of the earth, we're supposed to be able to discern, right? Be able to be wise, you see. It says knowing, skilled, right? Circumspect, right? Now let's get uh, Isaiah 33. You see. Isaiah chapter 33 verse 6 it says and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability at thy times and strength of salvation the fear of the Lord is his treasure so that's going to be the stability of our times wisdom and knowledge right which is prudent being able to see what's coming down the pipe you see we can see that the powers that be are preparing for this MOTB system we can see that folly is at an all time high to get us to waver in the spirit to detach from our heavenly power so we know that it's time to cling on even harder right the Lord is gonna start at you know the um, in the house of Israel Right, that's where judgment is going to start. So we're to be on point even more. See, this is a, a Proverbs 22 and 3. It says, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. But the simple pass on and are punished, right? We're supposed to be uh, dwelling in the secret place, as the scriptures say, right? Psalms 91. Matter of fact, let's go there. If we want to escape judgment, you see, we're going to have to be hidden in the secret place, right? Taken, um, a, um, you know, into the fold of this knowledge uh, wholeheartedly, man. Right? This is uh, Psalms 91 and verse 1. It says, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Right. So if we are, you know, <laughs> hidden in the mysteries or within, you know, the house of the Lord, right, we're going to be hidden. Right. We're going to be shown mercy and hid in the day to come. Right. Let me see if I can find that. I got Proverbs 2 written on my written on this. Yeah, this is Proverbs 2 and 1. It says, My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, right? 
hide the words of the Lord with us? Are we supposed to keep him, keep the Lord's words with us? You see? So we can be <laughs> with him when judgment commences. You see? Uh, so, verse 2. So that thou incline thine ears unto wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding. Yeah, if thou criest after knowledge and lifteth up thy voice for understanding. If thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as hid treasures. Then thou shalt understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Hawashai. Right? Then we're going to, you know, understand knowledge and understand the fear of the Lord. If we hide the commandments with, uh, you know, receive the word and hide my commandments with thee, as it says in verse one, you see, and that's going to lead to us being hid from judgment. Right. This is uh, Proverbs one and thirty three, it says, but whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. You see, we're supposed to hearken unto the Lord. All right. Scriptures say, seek, uh, seek me. Why? I, uh, matter of fact, for our butcher, let me get it, man. This is uh, Isaiah 55 and 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Right? So we're supposed to seek the Lord while he may be found. Right? While we have this grace period. You see? Because in an instant, you know, the day could change. Right? We could, we could be in that black swan uh, situation. And what I mean by that black swan situation is... is uh, you know that that effect that's gonna that that major effect that we waiting on whether it be a blackout whether it be um you know a major earthquake a major um you know quote-unquote uh you know terrorist attack right that lines up esau to move on the on the people right and take away certain freedoms and further about to implement the MOTB system right which we're already seeing that happen now but we just waiting on an event to um help forward that all right a major event right May, uh, possibly a worldwide event right this is uh Isaiah 55 and 6 again it says seek ye the Lord while he may be found call ye upon him while he is near let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts right because um you know we're not supposed to lean on our own understanding you see forsake our thoughts right what does that mean that means stop thinking about yourself right make sure that you giving that time to the lord man giving some time to the lord let me get it this is um Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 7 it says blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord and whose hope uh, and whose hope the Lord is right it says for he shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that uh, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river and shall not see when he cometh but her leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of uh, drought Neither shall cease from yielding uh, yielding fruit, right? So even in famine, we'll flourish, right? If we trust in the Lord, if we have faith in his word and, and that he's going to do what he said he was going to do to those th that are sincere, right? Verse 9, it says, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it, right? So thinking about trivial things of this world and this life continuing to meditate on it further than you know it it, um, it needs because you know of course we have to deal with certain things that are the war and the flesh and think about certain things that are flesh right um and, and pertaining to this world where like your job where you have to be there not physically uh also uh, as well but also mentally you know 
relationships that you have, right? Those things do, you know, you have to be there and be there mentally as well as physically. But we're not to dwell on too much time uh, than it needs to, right? This is our first priority, all right? Pleasing the Heavenly Father is our first, our first priority, right? And that's, that's always the case, right? That never takes a back seat, right? Myself included, right? Even when we fall, we have to continually get up, right? And strive for our daily life to center around Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? Because that's going to be our strength in these coming times. You see, the fear of the Lord is going to be our strength. And that's being uh, built up now. Let me go back to, um, matter of fact, I'm going to see if I could go to that second Ezra. Or, you know what? I'm going to switch gears. We're going to go to um, Proverbs, the fourth chapter. All right. Now it says, uh, Proverbs 4 and 7, it says, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Right? That's the first thing that our mind should be operated on. And, and as, that we should be hearkening to is getting wisdom, man. Getting understanding. You see? constantly doing that and reminding ourselves why we're in this position we're in being in this ministry right this is being in this position in america at this time man is is a curse uh, at any time you know has been a curse but how much the more in this time you know when our time is almost up in this shithole man right it's been a curse no matter how many benefits esau give you no matter how much of a good job, quote unquote, good job that you have, right? It's ultimately a curse, right? To have these heathen over us, right? It's a curse, right? No matter how good your situation is, because you still go outside and see your brothers and sisters uh, on the street corners, and you still are subjected to taxes. You still subjected to uh, the curses, right? You still subject to the flesh, right? It's just an overall terrible experience, right? And the Lord wants to give us more, but for that to happen, certain processes have to occur, right? Certain of uh, Israel have to be destroyed. We have to put the wicked in subjection, and we have to uh, overcome. You know this this life man we have to overcome the fight you see and all that is uh a understanding right all that is a uh, getting into these scriptures every day is a reminder of that of that predicament that we're in right you negro latinos and native americans right i'm gonna read it again proverbs 4 and 7 it says wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting get understanding right because with this book comes wisdom and understanding right we understand uh, a portion of the most high we understand Yahweh Shai and his uh, walk we also understand our predicament and what we need to do to get up out of it and that's the reason why that should be at the forefront of our mind now um I'm going to jump down to verse 23. It says, keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Right? So with all our, our diligence, right, we're supposed to be maintaining the right mindset. That is the fact that we're at war. That is the fact that our enemy goeth round about like a lion, seeking who he may devour. Right? Roughly quoting Fighting off certain mindsets and that and that old man, you know who we used to be, because out of our mind is the issues of life, 
right? All that, you know, that depression. You see, the uh, the idea of um, or or envy. You know, you envy. Jake has a has an obsession with envy and our oppressor. You know, not saying that the brothers in this ministry do, but you know, hey, you can fall from that time to time. You know, especially if you uh you have that uh, entrepreneur mindset. You know, <laughs> uh, I myself, uh, that's something that I have to to watch. You know, and making sure that I keep the main thing the main thing. You know, and that can get you down sometimes. You know, <laughs> but ultimately. This is the uh, the most entrepreneur, <laughs> entrepreneur, uh, opportunistic, I guess, right? I guess that's the closest word to, a, you know, entrepreneurity, if that's a word, right? But this is the greatest op- uh, opportunity to be independent, you know, having this wisdom, right? Independent of waiting on a damn check to bounce, man. Or, or to uh, you know to, to get into the account Right This is the greatest opportunity of riches You see And, and of uh, freedom Right So we are to keep this at the forefront Right it says um, I'm going to read verse 23 again in, in, in the ending Yeah that last part cut out You know But call Allah Yaha Bashim I I noticed so we'll just continue on. <clears throat> this is a Proverbs 24 and 23. It says, keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. Right? And what we last touched on was, you know, keeping our mind and our eye single because everything, all the problems, they come out of that. So if we uh, have a stable mind, we'll be able to continue in the walk um, how the elect would, you know. And because we don't we don't know if we're of the elect, but we can we we have a um, a, a frame. We're given a frame on how the elect will act uh, through the uh, scriptures. You see, verse twenty four says, "Put away from thee a forward mouth and perverse lips. Put far from thee. Let thine eyes look right on, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee." Right. So we're supposed to be. Consistently looking upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to all things, you see, we're supposed to be walking straight and keeping our eye on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Right, it says, "Turn not to the right hand nor to the left; remove thy foot from evil." Right, and we're supposed to constantly kill that old man. Right, when we were going off. Right, the scriptures talk about in Baruch. How we had gone astray from from the Lord, but now since we are brought back, we have to seek Him ten times more, right? So that's that's the the um, you know the message, man. That's the message we preach. You know, is to constantly endure. You see. So yeah, with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory unto my heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Hakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.